Hello everyone. My name is uh, Vamsidhar Ambatipudi. I am a founder of uh, Finance and Analytics uh, Training Institute uh, called PACE in Hyderabad, India. In this uh, session, I would like to talk about uh, why do you really need to do an FRM certification or what is the importance of having a financial risk manager designation. Today, if you see, uh, this uh, designation is uh, becoming one of the buzzwords in the financial services industry and uh, one of the most uh, popular globally recognized designations for uh, any professional who wants to get into a risk management profession. So just looking at uh, a current uh, scenario globally with a specific focus to India. We have been uh, observing for the last uh, few years the financial services industry is undergoing a lot of changes. A lot of new products have been introduced in the last one decade. Uh, derivatives have gone into a complete uh, different uh, phase of uh, uh, phase of uh, financial services industry. Lots of uh, new products got engineered uh, in the financial services industry. So, lots of ups and downs in the financial services industry, especially in the areas of banking, insurance and uh, for that matter uh, even the investment world so there is an increasing demand for people who are really good at risk management money management and investment management so looking at these there is a lot of uh, need for professionals who have the who have uh, extraordinary uh, certifications or who have uh, the state of the art knowledge and expertise in the areas of risk, money and investment management. But looking at the typical local MBA and PGDM programs, uh, especially in India, they are not able to cater to the demands of such niche and growing careers. Or probably I may say they are inefficient in catering to the demands of such niche and growing careers in the areas of risk management and investment management. So, there are uh, different certifications or uh, different uh, designations and programs that have come out as an alternative route to make extraordinary careers, brilliant careers in the areas of risk, money and investment management. And uh, what you can typically uh, look at is when it comes to the world of risk management, the financial risk manager certification offered by GARP global association of risk professionals is really catering to the need and demand in a very extraordinary manner and uh, what we typically uh, see is there are a lot of certified frms almost at every major bank a consulting firm and for that matter any financial institution we see almost uh, a good number of certified frms Probably you should visit the website of uh, GARP to find out uh, what kind of professionals, uh, what kind of uh, organizations are recruiting these uh, FRM professionals. I'll, uh, show, I'll demonstrate to you in a, a slide. But what differentiates you if you become an FRM versus you are not an FRM? Across the world today, there are only around 26,000 professionals who have completed the FRM designation. But if we look at uh, a typical local MBA or a PGDM program, almost a uh, few lakhs of people pass out in India every year compared to 26,000 across the world till date. You see there is a difference in the number which means you can put yourself into an elite group. You are already differentiating yourself from the rest of your classmates. You are differentiating yourself from the peers and enhancing your uh, opportunities uh, into the risk management space. And look at this uh, number of uh, FRM candidates from different countries, 129 countries in 2011, which is uh, uh, a number which tells you that uh, FRM as a designation is accepted worldwide. 
people across uh, various countries are looking forward to become uh, certified FRMs. And organizations wise, uh, in 2011, almost uh, people from 732 organizations across the world had more, five or more registrations uh, for FRM designation, which means there is an increasing demand to go for this designation. And the more earlier you go, capture or cater to that demand or you become a professional in that particular space, you can enhance your opportunities uh, in the risk management certification or designation. Almost all our dream industries, getting into an investment banking, very few MBA or PGDM uh, programs in the country can take you into that space. But with an FRM designation, even though you come from a normal background in your graduation or even though you come from a local MBA or PGDM, you can enhance your chances of getting into an investment bank, one of the dream jobs for a lot of uh, people by getting yourself uh, a certified FRM. So a lot of commercial banks, not in the typical uh, operations or sales, but you can get into the core Treasury functions, you can get into the asset liability management, risk management uh, divisions of most of the commercial banks. And you can get into a lot of asset management firms or consulting firms. Hedge funds are there to recruit you. Insurance firms require a lot of uh, risk management professionals. Credit rating agencies require them. So you can uh, create an opportunity for, the, uh, for yourself in a plethora of uh, areas. And that too in more challenging kind of positions. So just uh, uh, to look at uh, the top 20 companies which are hiring the certified FRMs across the world. Probably you could uh, see some of them uh, happen to be your dream companies itself. HSBC, one of the top recruiters of FRM. PricewaterhouseCoopers, again another big recruiter. UBS, Citigroup, KPMG. Some of the companies which uh, every one of you uh, dream of getting into with just uh, having one good FRM designation, you can uh, position yourself uh, into challenging roles in these kind of companies. There is an Ernst Standing, there is a Deutsche Bank, there is a Deloitte, there is a JP Morgan. These are just the top 20. There is a Bank of America, there is an ING, there is a Barclays. So you find almost... Uh, Big dream companies uh, which any finance professional would want to get into are there hiring the certified FRM which means as a designation FRM is gathering a lot of momentum in the world market and people who have completed their FRM uh, certifications over a period of time along with experience they have even uh, gone to the layers of becoming the chief risk officers of uh, some organizations. There are people who are uh, holding the posts of senior risk analysts or head of operational risk. So, with the designation of FRM, you can position yourself into the top management with, of course, coupled with uh, a few, few years of experience in the risk management space, you can uh, take yourself, uh, you can position yourself uh, as a senior manager or into the top management layer of the organization exclusively focusing on the risk management space. And you see the way the FRM as an exam is uh, gaining momentum. Probably there are only 2000 odd applications or registrations for the exam in 2001. But in 2009 and later, after the big crisis, after the global economic crisis, even from the organization standpoint, there is a, a lot of need for FRM as a designation. So we have been seeing like right from 2009, almost 25,000 odd registrations happening every year for the exam. Which itself is uh, saying there is a, a, a requirement for uh, risk management professionals globally. So the moment, uh, if you are able to gather, capture the momentum in the early years of uh, the demand growth, you can, uh, you can position yourself for a brilliant career and probably get a secured career in the area of risk management. Otherwise, uh, the moment the herd mentality starts, lots and lots of people start uh, 
getting into this FRM uh, designation, obviously uh, the supply will uh, overtake the demand and then the opportunities will get lost out. But at this moment, what I can simply say is the demand is too high for an FRM certified professional. So you should uh, you should uh, try to achieve it and then uh, capture the momentum in the risk management market. Now, is it too difficult a program? Let me tell you that it is not too easy also, right? But, but with dedicated effort, hard work and a focus towards the achievement of the goal, you should be able to clear this certification within one year time frame. There are only two parts to the exam. Both of them uh, go for four hours. In part 1, you have 100 multiple choice questions, whereas part 2 with 80. And uh, just with the two-year experience in the risk management space, which you can very well gain after completion of the exam also, you would become a certified risk management professional. And what is that that is required as a part of the curriculum? All the, all the subjects that are covered as a part of both FRM part 1 and part 2 are focused only in risk. You are not uh, diversifying yourself uh, across multiple subjects being a part of uh, FRM designation. You see quantitative analysis. There is a good thrust on quantitative analysis, foundations on risk management, financial markets and products. Again, more exclusive to the risk management products, valuation and risk models. There is exclusive focus on market risk, credit risk, operation risk. So by getting all the, all the in-depth knowledge in these various areas, you can very well position yourself for a brilliant career in risk management. You can very well differentiate yourself from your peers, even your employers, you can stand out. And uh, the kind of knowledge and expertise you gain because of this uh, part 1 and part 2 of the certification will really uh, make, you, make you effective in terms of uh, your interviews. You, can, you, will, you are going to join an elite group and uh, personally also your brand value is going to increase. And in case you are wishing uh, to change your career, you are already working in uh, some kind of a job, non-finance or non-risk oriented job, but you are, you are uh, having a passion towards risk management, you have a very good uh, understanding uh, of the world of uh, risk management, the employer can give a weightage to that once he looks at uh, a risk management designation and FRM being one of the best out of those designations. And uh, you can complement your MBA or PGDM program if you are a student to, to differentiate yourself uh, from your uh, classmates and uh, enhance your chances of getting a better placement because most of the jobs today is from a local MBA or a PGDM institution in uh, India. Most of the finance jobs means either uh, it requires uh, you to work and work in the back end operations or the sales of financial services uh, company. But if you hold an FRM designation for yourself, you can uh, very well uh, get into an elite challenging risk management, uh, 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 risk management uh, uh, job profile, right? which can uh, really differentiate you from the rest of the crowd. I hope uh, this clarifies uh, why you need to do an FRM uh, designation. If you have any further queries regarding this, you can uh, very well uh, contact me on 9198480121213 or you can even uh, send an email to me at vamsidhar at pacegurus.com for any further queries. I suggest you visit our website www.pacegurus.com for any further updates regarding uh, the FRM training program or any program any training or consulting in the areas of uh, finance and analytics. We also provide skill based trainings on Excel, SPSS and VBA. Finance and analytics using these tools. So if you have any further queries, you can very well get in touch with us. Thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.